Hello, and welcome to Game Pass Speed Dating, the series where I try out the latest Game Pass releases, play them for about an hour, and then give you my first impressions and a rating from Fail on the Date to Propose Immediately. So today we're going to be playing Redfall, the latest Game Pass release. This is a pretty highly anticipated one because it comes from Arcane Studios, the developer behind Prey, the Dishonored series, and Deathloop. So let's see, jump into the game, try it out, and see if this game is love at first bite, or if it doesn't have enough teeth and just sucks. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, uh, let me go ahead and close this. So, first of all, we choose what character we want to play as. Each character has different skills. So this is Jacob. He has a raven that you can send out and mark enemies. He has a cloak to turn invisible. He has Heartstopper to summon a sniper rifle and then take out enemies with heavy damage. We got Layla that can lift enemies, use a shield, summon a vampire ex-boyfriend to attack enemies for her. Then we got Dev with a Javelin that s sends out lightning. This that lets you teleport. And then this item that sends out a burst of light and freezes enemies. And then we got Remy who has a C4 charge, a siren, and mobilize, which makes a rallying point to heal enemies, heal, heal allies over time. Now, I like playing as snipers, so I'm gonna go ahead and play as Jacob. So let's go ahead, select him. Now I tried this game for just about 2 minutes, that's like a minute 53, just to make sure the game was well optimized. So let's go ahead, start with the new character, and jump into it. Real fast, let me adjust the settings. The volume is coming in a bit loud, so let's go ahead and just lower that a bit. Alright. It doesn't sound like there's a master volume that we can adjust, so I'm just going to set everything to 40. Hopefully that balances out a bit more. If not, feel free to let me know. So now we're going to play as the new Jacob. And... Alright, so back out. And then play game. So we're going to start off with the cutscene. So we'll give it a, a, a watch. What happened in Redfall is my fault. I think it used to be a nice town. It was my fault. I was red and I failed. I got here. I thought I could help. They said one drop of my blood could change everything. Free people from sickness. Maybe from death. A world where nobody was left out. Cups overflowing. Rivers of living water. Yeah, she could have saved all those cardboard cutouts. They were monsters. They took more than a drop. They took everything. What's with the hair? Now, something evil is swallowing up this place bit by bit. When the people here realized what was going on, it was already too late. And I feel like when everyone dies, then it's like, yeah, it's kind of too late. The monsters to Probably should have them. noticed before then. Some are just hiding, scared, waiting for a rescue that ain't coming. Some tried to get away. But the monsters who started all this weren't having it. There's nowhere to go. Nobody ever believes things can get this bad. Until it happens. Then, it's too late. But... There are people who can fight back. I think they can save this place. There's just one thing standing in their way. A whole town full of vampires. That sounds like more than one thing. Unless it's just one massive vampire. Alright, I had to step away for a moment to turn the fan on, so I couldn't hear the dialogue, but I have a feeling I didn't miss too much. We were taking a boat, and then we got stopped by vampires, and now we gotta fight through the city. Alright, not the most welcoming sight when you wake up.
Why is that guy's hands so huge? Like, they just look swollen. I guess it's a side effect of vampirism. Alright, so we're just left here, laying next to a dead body. Oh no, not Luigi! I didn't realize that who that's who it was. Alright, she's got a halo, so looks like we got visited by an angel. Oh wait, that angel has giant hands, so gotta be a vampire. Hmm. All right, she doesn't look too friendly. I mean, I wasn't walking. I was like sailing away in a boat until you put a stop to it. The others want you dead, but I want you here, alive. I can use you. Okay. Got some sunlight to save the day. Classic mistake, waiting until dusk. Or dawn. Opposite. Alright, I guess we're just gonna lay here for a bit. I mean, it's right there. Like. Alright, so now we're finally getting up. All right, so still in the boat. Still can't save Luigi. Let's take some chocolate bars. That's the number one priority during a vampire attack. Evacuation note. Two dozen souls confirmed and ready to evac the heck off this island. Most unarmed, a few wounded. One rendezvous just after midnight. I'll give the countersign before you board. Remy. I'm sorry, Luigi. I'll avenge you. See if there's anything else to loot. Okay, we got more chocolate bars. Got some chips as well, so balanced diet. Alright, let's go down below deck. Need to stock up on medical supplies. No telling what else is out here. Help, my son is missing. Everett Doyle, age 10. Last seen leaving the Harvest Festival with an unidentified person. Wearing blue jeans, green and yellow striped long sleeve shirt, blue sneakers, his favorite yellow bucket hat. Description, about 5'1", strawberry blonde hair, green eyes, freckles, birthmark that runs from his chin to his clavicle. Oddly specific. Please, if you see him, use our code word backpack so he will trust you. I feel like that's a pretty generic safe word. I feel like he's going to get kidnapped by Dora the Explorer because she says backpack like 50 times an episode. Alright, let's go ahead and check out first aid. Hope. Hold Q to heal yourself, consuming one of your medical supplies. Oh, gotta hold it for quite a while. Alright. So that restored a whopping 10 health. Threatening note. Mr. Sawyer, I've seen you peeking into my windows and paying your ear to my side door. What do you think you know is even a fraction of what's about to happen? You can stay in Redfall, learn the truth, become one of us, untouchable. Or there's always the alternative, but I don't believe you want to find out what it is. We'll be waiting for you. It's kind of surprising that guy was like, I gotta get out of here, but I can't leave this threatening note behind. Gotta take that with me until my final right. breath. Dear Miss Moreau, I understand you haven't seen your husband in 10 days, but I'm sure there are stones left unturned. Talk to his co-workers and friends. Whether he ran off with someone, sorry, but I am a divorce attorney, or got drunk and fell into the propeller of a fishing boat, I shouldn't have to remind you that legal papers must be signed in a timely manner. I look forward to seeing you both at our meeting, with papers signed. Of course, if something terrible has befallen him, that will be another matter entirely. A matter for the Redfall Police. Regards, Matthew Harrison Garnett the Third, Attorney at Law. Alright, looks like she's got bigger issues to deal with right now. Let's go ahead. Oh, okay, I'm... I was at 90 health because I ate so much candy, so now all this extra candy isn't really doing anything. All right, we got some suspended water down here. I forgot that was a classic vampire ability. You know, hypnotizing people, turning to bats, controlling water. They came a long way since 
before they couldn't cross flowing wa water, but now they're like, oh, I'll just stop it and it's safe. So now no one's safe in this game. That's why there's so much more threatening. All right. So we got a frozen tsunami. Let's go ahead and check out this part of the ship. All right, we got a free car if we can get it off that safety podium. Handgun. Left mouse. So left click to shoot your current weapon. Hold right click to aim down your weapon sights. R to reload if you have ammo. You will automatically reload weapons that are empty if you try firing them. Finding cover helps in firefights, but won't help against melee enemies. For them, keep moving to add some distance between them and you. If they're too close, press F to hit them at close range. Alright. So it's F to melee, and then R to reload. Pretty basic controls otherwise. Open the trunk. A space blanket. I guess I collected it. Let's go ahead and take a look around. Door release. Use break glass. Alright. So I need... Oh, wait. There we go. Alright. Welcome to Redfall. So we just need to reach the shore. Looks like there's some enemies up there. So let's go ahead. My character is the sneaky one, so let's go ahead and stay to the shadows. Got Centipede, a semi-auto pistol. Stealth to avoid enemies when desired. Stay out of sight and crouch to minimize noise, since running and sprinting attract nearby enemies. Enemies also listen for gunfire, explosions, alarms, kitty rides, musical instruments, and windows breaking. I forgot they listen to musical instruments because vampires, classic music fans. Once an enemy finds you, you can escape by fleeing and breaking line of sight. So I'm going to go ahead and turn subtitles on real fast because, you know, reading notes, the character tends to chatter on a bit. So just to make sure that I'm not talking over any audio that you guys are wanting to hear. Let's go ahead and do gameplay. Let's do audio accessibility. Let's see. Subtitles. Yeah, let's just do subtitles. And there we go. Yep, let's keep it. Alright, we got another note. Excerpt from an anonymous journal entry. We've been haunting this boat for days. Me, Mary, and the baby. When she cries, Mary hides in one of the shipping containers, which will be lined with blankets and dirty mattresses from the crew quarters. I've only left twice for bottled water, powdered formula, and whatever food I could find. Mary hated it both times, but there's no other way. My heart is hammering the entire time I'm out in Redfall, afraid for myself, but also for both of them if I don't make it back. I can't stop picturing someone finding them while I'm gone. Mary holding tight to little Beth, both so scared. I keep hoping something will change. Maybe a bunch of helicopters will land, or the Coast Guard will show up and take us somewhere far away from this island. At night, we can see them down along the harbor, standing around fires, drinking and popping off shots. I watched them with the scope I took off a busted hunting rifle. The guy used to work. Okay. Oh. All right. Guy find us. Oh, okay. Bad time to reload. All right. One shot. Let's go ahead. Drink some knockoff Gatorade. Got some ammo. Is that an enemy? Okay. Nope. Oh. All right. There we go. Oh, okay, I guess I automatically picked it up. Alright, let's go ahead and... F oh, wait. More enemies. Alright. I was pretty uh, uncertain if I could get that headshot while jumping, but I managed to pull it off. Alright, so back to my note before I was rudely interrupted. I keep hanging something... Okay, yeah, so... Drinking, popping off shots. I watched him with a scope I took off a busted hunting rifle. The guy who used to work on her old beater whenever it broke down dock workers cops coffee shop people what made them fall in love in line so fast i already know the answer because i've also watched the bloodsuckers come up out of the dark ready for an offering fear it's always fear all right so regular townsfolk are turning against other people decide to side with the vampires which i mean if they can control water it's like all right i'll join you 
I don't need any more convincing. Alright, got some melee weapons, some wires. Let's go ahead and run around this way. See if there's anything up here. Alright, seems like we're getting a decent amount of ammo. Okay, I actually need lockpicks to open that. Let's go down this shipping container. Okay, it's open on that side. Oh, okay. I keep thinking I'm like, oh, okay, dead end, and then it ends up being having an opening. Alright. There's an enemy nearby. Okay, let's take her out first. Alright. There we go. Oh, there's another one. There we go. I mean, I don't know how badly I need any of this stuff, so I don't know if it's worth spending any time, like, looting it. But might as well be prepared. Better safe than sorry. Alright, another enemy. Let's see... Do I have any other weapons? So I got the pistol. I got a shotgun. I mean, I'll definitely keep that equipped on me. And some abilities that I can't use yet. No skills, missions. All right, we'll just keep pushing forward. Let's go ahead and test out the stealth. Actually, let's see if you can like stealth kill enemies, because otherwise, if I can just get close before. Uh, let's see if I hit F. Oh, okay then. That's good. Otherwise, I was like, all I can do is just get closer before starting the firefight. You know, since they can hear gushing shots and everything. Alright. Let's go ahead. Can I pick up all of these weapons? Alright. I guess not, since this, they all disappear for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and switch the pistol. Just by default, because if they're far away, the shotgun's not going to do much. Alright. Looks like it's clear up ahead. Alright, they got fireworks, so you know. They made Redfall sound like it was all just a bummer place, nothing good about it. But they got fireworks, so it can't be that bad. Let's go crash down here. Alright, don't pay attention to me. I said don't pay attention to me. Alright. I feel like it's going pretty well so far. No, I haven't taken too much damage. Using ammo pretty sparingly. Just a bit farther. So let's run up here. Eliminate all cultists from the fire station. If only oh wait. Play your way. You can infiltrate the fire station a number of ways. One, deal with the cultists and go in through the main garage, climb up onto the roof and enter from above, or pick the lock on the back door. Well, considering I don't have any pick locks, I guess we'll be going through the roof. It's going to be like the sales of a really popular record. Through the roof. Alright, let's see if this guy doesn't recognize, doesn't notice me. I mean, if he doesn't recognize me, I think that's even worse, because then he's going to be like, oh, I don't know you, might as well kill you. Alright. All it takes is one elbow to the back, and then that kills most people. Little known fact. Alright, she's gonna cause issues. Alright. Let's see if we can get onto the roof. Okay. There we go. Let's go around. Well, let's go ahead and take out the guys so they don't keep hunting me. Okay, where do they go? Oh, there he is. Alright. Let's go ahead and climb up this. Up here. Okay. Let's take out this guy real fast. Alright. It's pretty easy to get headshots when you're, like, directly above the enemy. 
All right, this looks like the the roof opening we're supposed to go through. There it is. All right, so we're gonna crouch, drop in. Oh dang it! This woman is just like two inches away from death and doesn't even know it. There we go. All right. Hello? We're in here. Are you... Are the cultists still around? I can't open this door until they're gone. Or dead. Dead would be better. They cut the power on us. We've got wounded in here. All right. You gotta turn on the power. They all answer to it. Can you help us out? Let's see if it's in the basement. Destroying vampires. You're about to fight your first vampire. Normal weapons can only temporarily wound a vampire, but cannot finish them off. You will need a weapon equipped with a stake. When a vampire is badly wounded, it will become vulnerable, at which point you can get close and press F to drive a stake into its heart, turning the vampire to ash. That's a long paragraph. Vampires can also be destroyed by other means you can discover, like fire or special hero powers. So fortunately, I noticed a stake on my shotgun. So let's go ahead, get close to him, and take him out as soon as I can. Is there any flashlight that we can use? Let's go ahead and check the key bindings, see if there's a flashlight button, because otherwise it's just going to be pretty dark for the rest of the game. So we got... flashlight is T. Alright. I'm used to it being F, but I guess that's melee, so... I had to go with T. If it can't be the first letter flashlight, it's going to be the last. Let's go ahead. Um, where is a vampire hiding? It's going to be in the back. Let's see behind this overturned table. Wait, what was that? Okay, another shotgun. Note from Miss Chen's class. Dear Redfall Firefighters, Thank you for letting our third grade class visit you. We had so much fun. Here were our favorite parts. I liked helping wash the truck. <laughs> okay, so they visit a firehouse and the firefighters put them to work cleaning the truck. I liked paying Flash because I did not know dogs were allowed. I liked meeting the firefighters and asking questions. I liked that you had cookies and let me eat too. I liked sitting in the comfy chairs and reading. I liked taking Flash for a walk. I liked turning the siren on because it was loud. Thank you again for Miss Chen's class. So... Taking the dog for a walk, that also kind of feels like a chore. Like, one kid got to pet them, and the other kid's like, oh, I gotta take them for a walk. Do they also have to pit out a fire while they were there? Just pit them to work, take the day off, and be like, yeah, they got to visit and be a real firefighter. We lost seven innocent citizens that day, but at least we didn't have to work. Alright, is this the vampire I'm supposed to fight? Not so tough now. Alright, supposedly I was supposed to be finding my first vampire, but I've yet to see one. Okay, there's another level. Alright, seems to be pointing towards the idea that there's a vampire. Alright, so we got plenty of shotgun ammo. Let's see if we can melee him and take him out. Nope. All right, gotta reload again. Ready to go. Okay, I saw a health bar sneaking upstairs. There we go. All right, there we go. And that's our first vampire taken care of. All right, we were too late. We couldn't save him. Even locked Jacob's first hero ability, Raven. Hold Z to have your raven mark nearby threats. Release Z to launch your raven forward to mark more threats. The raven is a mysterious entity bound to Jacob which began manifesting shortly after his arrival on Redfall. Like his own shadow, the raven is never far from Jacob and useful for scouting enemies. As Jacob levels up, you can spend skill points to upgrade raven. Alright. Tagging enemies. That's so raven. Let's go ahead and turn our flashlight off. Run upstairs. Oh yeah, I still need to restore the power. Let's go ahead and jump back downstairs. 
I'll get some... Alright. Full of medical supplies and health, so... Let's go ahead and flip this. Go. That's more like it. Oh, I thought that was a 3D printer. I was like, that's weird for a firefighter to have. But popcorn machine, that makes perfect sense. Alright, let's knock on the door again. Gone? It's safe to come out now. We got them all. Let me check my inventory real fast, make sure I don't have any... Oh, okay. Powerful vampires. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I tried checking my inventory, I tried reading the mission, and it's just like, nope. You're done. You're gonna watch this... This cutscene of just models being zoomed in on. Models as in 3D models. I wouldn't say that they're gonna sell any... They're not gonna sell anyone on clothes. Alright, we got more 3D models to pan around. Alright, I think we get the gist. Alright, they got a pool table, so good to know. Quite a twist ending, glad we stuck around for all of it. Alright. Better see who's running. This okay. Powerful vampires have pushed back the tides and blocked out the sun. Left with no escape, you made your way to shore where you met several new allies hiding out in a fire station. Hopefully you can help each other survive the situation on Redfall. Let's go and close that. And now try to check our guns again. Oh. Alright, that's a, actually a really good shotgun. I mean I'm guessing. Killing an enemy with this weapon grants it 20% increased damage for 8 seconds, shoots 2 extra pellets per weapon fire, 50% increased accuracy while moving. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and equip that one. And then, otherwise, there's not really anything... I think all of these centipedes are exactly the same. So hopefully we can get some kind of rifle soon. That's definitely the type of weapon I prefer. And I feel like with this character, that's what... It's gonna be better with. Mr. Boyer, am I right? I'm glad you're here. You'd be the only one. I don't want to think about what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I speak for everyone when I say thank you. My name is Terrence Hunt. I'm a doctor. Used to work at Redfall Regional. Oh, I thought his tie was just like cut off at like two inches, but it's just tucked in, but like at a really sharp angle. Come to me only take as much as you need there are other people here who need help just as much as you we could have died glad the reverend kept those flares all right let's browse this no i don't want to buy a medical supply when i'm already maxed out so let's see what else we got some of your allies in the fire station run supply caches where you can spend support to stock up on useful items like medical supplies lock picks free wire kits and weapons Check back occasionally since their inventory changes over time. You can earn support by collecting supply items or salvaging weapons. Alright, I mean, I would take some lockpicks, but otherwise, I... Oh, wait. Oh, I do have a lockpick. Alright. I'm guessing that's my inventory is showing. Okay, yeah. Alright, good to know. Let's go ahead and get topside and head out again. Oh, I need to go back downstairs. Talk to Reverend Eva. Alright, this guy's just not very talkative. Alright. Jacob, right? Well, I'm glad you're on our side. Excerpt from Revelations of Divine Love by I Julian of Norwich. Norwich. Of Norwich. Nice and for the tender love that Sorry, our good Lord hath to all that shall, be, shall be saved, he come forth, come forth, readily and sweetly, and signifying thus, it is sooth that sin is cause of all of this pain, but all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. These words were said full tenderly, showing no manner of blame to me nor to any that shall be saved. Whatever's in there is yours, if we can spare it. Alright, let's check the lost and found. 
Okay, I can buy a lockpick for more money than I have, or a rewire kit. Required for hacking a rewireable re device. Alright. Haven't come across any of those yet. Let's go ahead and salvage the weapons that I have, since I have a lot more than I need. So, hold G to salvage. Yeah, I'm just going to salvage everything. Can I unequip that? Okay, I guess I need to have two centipedes equipped. I can't go out with only two weapons, apparently. Alright, so next, talk to Anna. Jacob, huh? What's with the eye? Excerpt from Ask Allison, Pregnancy Edition by Allison Root. Dear Allison, I have really bad morning sickness that somehow lasts all day. Is this normal? Am I potentially hurting my child? Sincerely, lover not a puker. Believe it or not, lover not a puker, a whopping 75% of pregnant women experience morning sickness. And don't let the misnomer fool you. Morning sickness can show up any time of day. The good news is your baby is totally unharmed. At this stage, your fetus's nutritional needs are minuscule, so your sickness won't bother it a bit. Oh, and before I forget, congratulations on your pregnancy. I promise it'll all be worth it. Love, Allison. Alright, we gotta browse the armory. So we can get a double action revolver or an assault rifle. So neither of these are necessarily weapons that I'm like really wanting. Like if they had a like single shot rifle, like a long distance one, I'd probably take it. But for those options, I'm going to pass. All right, so now we need to head upstairs and use the briefing table. I mean, honestly, the combat's been pretty fun so far, but there's a lot of uh, tutorial bookkeeping that it's making me doing. You just received a new stake you can use to customize the look of your weapons. You can equip your new stake by pressing I to go to the loadout screen, selecting a weapon that has a stake attachment, and selecting weapon details. You can also change the overall look of a weapon by swapping to a different weapon skin you found. Finally, you can change your hero's outfit by selecting your hero in the loadout screen and choosing Customize Hero. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So this weapon has a, has a stake on it. So let's go to Details. And... Okay, can't customize it. I guess because it's a unrivaled rarity weapon. So skins, we got two. So do you want this gray one? Okay, yeah, I mean, better than nothing. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, skills. I forgot we can use a skill point. I uh, carry more lockpicks and rewire kits. Let's see. Extra handgun and shotgun ammo storage. Okay, different types of ammo. Increase the amount of health regenerated when low. When you revive a teammate, they have more health. And then I got Raven. I can do recharges faster, increases the scan radius while flying, and enemies stay marked longer. Or increase the Raven scan radius. Um... Okay, I'm a little confused, because this one says increase its scan radius, and then increase it while flying, and enemies stay marked longer. Let's see what they lead to. Marked enemies take more damage from all sources. The raven flies faster and farther and can now damage enemies it touches, chaining from one enemy to the next. The raven can also destroy vulnerable vampires. When aiming down sights on an enemy, that enemy becomes marked after a short time. Alright. Let's see. I mean, I guess this sounds better than just increasing damage to marked enemies, so let's go with this one. And then later on, I can go ahead and grab that one. Alright. So let's go ahead and use the mission table. Choose the next mission you'd like to accept. Can only have one active at a time, cannot repeat missions. Let's go ahead and do the very next mission that's available. got here, things were already a hair shy of Halloween. Dead empty streets, secret fires, things creeping in the windows. Made contact on the second day. I got hit hard and drug off. Lights out. Woke up tasting blood with this freak ass bird in my grill. I'd just as soon be in hell with my back broke. 
But it ain't up to me. I can't go back to Bellwether. No one's coming to help these civilians. A few dozen of us tried getting off the island on that ferry. The damn bloodsuckers killed the sun and pushed back the ocean. Yeah, we were there. Out of the bottle. Supposed to be a few places we can check for supplies. Ain't nothing left to do but cut out and grab some gear. Maybe save some idiots in the process. I'm done talking. Let's go. All right, about time. So collect supplies for the fire station. Let's go ahead and run downstairs. Use your Redfall map to get your bearings and navigate to objectives. Press M to open the map. From the map screen, you can see markers for your current objectives as well as other points of interest. You can also fast travel to any unlocked historical markers or safe houses, or place pings, or place pings to help you navigate or point out goals when playing with friends. All right, so let's go ahead and head out. There's a note over there, but I kind of like, I don't think it's really necessarily worth reading. All right, this is a pretty cool looking gun. All right, good thing we did not take the helicopters out. You know, the boat didn't really work out too well either, but it went better than that. Searching those choppers could be the fastest way to find supplies. All right. Brought you down from the sky. I am the Hollow Man. Nobody. The Hollow Man? Shit. If he's trying to scare me, it'll take more than that. You'll find many pathways through Redfall as you explore. To reach the down bellwether helicopters, an indirect route might be best. Okay. I'm gonna have to do this fight and then read that little tip afterwards. Alright, let's get some cover. Alright, almost there. There we go. Alright. So, indirect route might be best. Use your map to drop your own markers to aid in navigation or follow prominent landmarks like the down sharper's smoke plumes. Following the road east will bring you to the nearest historical marker, which you can use to fast travel and as a respawn point if you get into trouble. Alright. I mean, I feel like... Oh, my health is actually kind of low. I was going to say my health... I think my health has been pretty good so far. But let's go ahead and heal up. All right, that gave me, I think, about 25 health. Let's use our raven. All right, something's going on with that guy. So let's see if we can get closer without being noticed. All right. That guy's down. All right, so, okay. Took them out, took a little more damage than I would have liked, but nothing too concerning. So, yeah, I don't know what was going on with that guy that was like sending a pulse out to the other guy, but we took them out either way. So let's go ahead and hit up that historical marker before we go too far in, just in case anything does happen. Plus having an extra area to travel to Fast travel too would be nice. Okay. I don't see it on the map. Yeah, I don't see it on the compass at the top either, so. Let me see if there's a setting so that instead of having to hold down shift to run, I can just tap it. Okay, sprint toggle on. There we go. There we go. That feels better. And then switch to the pistol so we can attack from further away. 
So we made it to a neighborhood. Let's go ahead and send out the raven, just in case there's enemies I haven't seen yet. Okay, let's yeah, let's go ahead and use the lockpick to get a new weapon. Open it up. We got a stake launcher and quite a bit of ammo. The stake launcher fires improvised stakes which deal heavy damage to vampires and can finish them off from a distance. It launches almost anything long and pointy. Knives, pull keys, or whatever else you can scrounge. Alright, we can go ahead and close that now. Let's go ahead and equip that to our third slot since we don't have anything else to use. And then now we can actually scavenge this, or salvage this item. There we go. Skills. Oh man, I'm still pretty far from the next level. Alright, I forgot. Can we customize the hero? So, outfit. Okay, he's kind of cut off. We can't see his head. We'll go ahead and go with the default one that has the hood up. So, head. We can do his iconic hair. Okay, I think that's already equipped. Body looks like the same thing. And then backpack. We got one other... Wait, do we have another option? Oh, I guess we can do no backpack or backpack. So, we'll go ahead and leave it on. Let me see. Alright. So, yeah. I mean, the game's first person anyway, and we're not playing multiplayer, so... It doesn't make too much of a difference. Let's see. Oh, okay, got another lockpick, so that's good. And then, let's see if there's anything good in here. Travel bag. Yeah, I don't feel like reading all of this right now. Let's go and check the map, and then... How do I... Okay, place the ping. So let's go ahead and go to that helicopter first. So... I'm just gonna run in a straight line. Hey, Looks like quite a few items to savage. Okay, keep looking that way. Don't mind me. Just keep looking that direction. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, I didn't know you could actually, like, somehow use a staked weapon to finish off all right, Let's see. Can I get around for your noses? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I don't think that should have been that easy. Like, I don't think I, I should have been able to sneak around that vampire without him noticing me. Ooh, finally a sniper. Let's go ahead and take all this stuff. And then, let's go ahead and equip it. Let's do the sniper instead of the stake launcher. Because I think this definitely has some more potential. Make yourself useful. Alright, doesn't seem like there's enemies down that way. So, oh yeah, there's the helicopter crash. Let's go ahead and jump down. Is there fall damage? Doesn't seem like it. All right, let's go ahead, search through all this stuff. Okay, another note, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's go ahead and search the safe house after we do the helicopter objective. Looks like it's very... That shining light is like guiding me, being like, go into this cave, so let's see what's got. Water being gone opened up some places that shouldn't be. Alright, let's see if we can get him. Okay, he didn't like that. There we go. Oh, that guy got it closer than I expected him to. Okay, 
Okay, the vampires actually aren't as difficult as I was expecting them to be. I mean, they took over this whole town. Really? Acquire underboss skulls by completing the final mission at safe houses. Alright, is that what's causing this red mist that I can't get through? I guess we'll leave it for now. We'll take this, take over the safe house, and then we'll come back, check this cave, and see if anything's different. So I guess we gotta climb our way up to the top of the... Oh. More red mist. I guess let's go ahead and take out the... Take over the safe house, and then we'll come back to the helicopter crash. So, first let's send our raven out, see if there's anyone nearby. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Not that he can see, at least. Alright, let's go ahead. And these vampires are not very uh, observant, as I'm noticing. Okay, it needs power. Feels like there's always something else. Let's see, is there anything in the back? Okay, no way to get in. Hmm. Alright, we've got plenty of food at least. Alright. So it needs power. How do we get power to it? Alright, got a wedding ring. Good to know the vampire is married. Can I climb up this? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe there's something in the garage. Alright, that light looks promising. Oh, okay, we have to hack it. Okay, we can pick the lock instead, so let's do that. Huh. So to get the safe house, you need to have either a lockpick or a rewire kit. It seems a bit restrictive, but... Alright, perfect chance to use the sniper. Alright. We got one more guy over here. Oh, vampire, actually. Alright. I saw my health was low, but I was like, let's go ahead and finish him off before we heal. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and loot the ashes. Alright, another wedding ring. And then let's go ahead, go into the safe house. So what did it end up getting us? Congratulations, you've unlocked a safe house. You can now fast travel to the safe house from anywhere on the map. Redfall citizens will occasionally leave a free medical supply or some ammo for you. Use the projector screen to select missions that will make the neighborhood safer. Additional resources resources will unlock at the safe house the more missions you complete. All right, let's go ahead and use the radio. Safe house is up and running. I'm not too worried about doing side missions to increase the resources we get at that safe house. So let's go ahead. Uh... Oh, okay. I was thinking, do we need to do all the missions to get the boss from the safe house to be able to clear the red mist? But I think we might be able to find a way up to the island with the helicopter on it without having to do all of that. Alright. Let's 
go ahead, like classic Skyrim, just run around and then keep jumping against rocks until we manage to get our way to where we want to go. See, I'm not really seeing any places to climb up yet. Just gotta circle the island. Avoid the red fog. Okay, this might be it. Okay, yeah. This is the way that we're supposed to go. So, cross this tree. Jump up here. Run through the, the wheat. Dang. She took more shotgun shells than I was expecting her to. That's one. Okay. All right. Yeah, this sniper's pretty good. Where are they at? Oh, there we go. Okay, that felt a bit harsh. Like, I know they're on the side of vampires and they took over this whole town, but just like jumping down on the guy and then shotgunning him felt a bit cruel. Alright, let's go around. Okay, we got more shotgun ammo, so that's good. Some of those cultists are after the supply cache. You cut them off, or head straight for the supplies. Do we have any other weapons? Oh, we got the steak launcher. We got two of these, so let's go ahead. Oh, they actually have different bonuses. So they both deal 10% extra damage, stagger enemies 25% faster, or increase reload speed. I mean, I'm kind of planning to take guys out in one shot, so let's go ahead and stick with this one that reloads faster, and then salvage this guy. And then... They already have a better shotgun, so let's go ahead and salvage that guy as well. And... Yeah, I think it might be good to have the pistol rather than, like, three powerful weapons. So, no new skill points. Let's go ahead and check out the supply crate. Press middle mouse button to mark a spot where you're aiming. Your whole team can see this marker. This is very useful in situations where you know that the whole team needs to move somewhere or concentrate on an enemy. Not so good when you're playing solo and there aren't any teammates to ping locations for. Alright, so let's keep going this way. Test the fall damage. Oh, okay, there is fall damage. You just kind of have to fall a, a pretty decent height to trigger it. So, yep, let's go ahead and remove that. And then head over to the supply crate. Oh, vampire found me. Let's go ahead and stake them. There we go. Okay, is anyone else nearby? Alright, I guess not. So let's go ahead and keep going. Oh, wow, there's quite a few enemies over there. Burn your keep, shithead. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot. It's gonna take out the guys further away first. Oh, probably should have reloaded first. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and heal up. And then take out this vampire. There we go. Oh my god. Come on, okay. Yeah, that shot actually would have killed me. I think that's definitely the closest I've been to dying so far in this game. Alright, got medical supplies at least. Let's go ahead. Climb up this hill. 
Now, hopefully the supply crate's worth it, because if it's just, like, two metal, two, so, like, uh, healing kits, and I used two of them to fight my way here, didn't really turn out too worthwhile then. There's the bellwether supplies. All right, let's go ahead and secure it. I'll let the folks back at the fire so, station let's refill the ammo. Better go check out that second chopper first. Though. Okay, I mean, that's, that's actually a lot of sniper ammo, so that's pretty good. I guess now we just head back to where we came from. Um, and that's what I... Okay. I guess time to go to the other crash site now. So yeah, I mean, I was anticipating this game. I, I was looking forward to it. But, you know, there's, uh, the impressions that I had seen so far were not promising. And then now playing, I was like, oh, the combat's pretty fun. But, you know, we're about, like, 50 minutes into it. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of, uh, not feeling it anymore. I mean, I do like, like, typically shooters where, like, you hit enemies, it shows the damage numbers, stuff like that. There's, like, RPG mechanics. I'm usually like, alright, that's pretty good. But you know, this one is just kind of not really satisfying. I mean, like the gameplay otherwise. It's not like, oh, they should have worked on the numbers that would have fixed it. It's kind of like, oh, the game, the gunplay itself isn't really great. Yeah, I felt like the vampires were going to be a bit of a bigger threat when they gave me like a tutorial pop-up menu the first time I fought one. I was just kind of like, oh, okay, it's an enemy with like twice as much health and you have to, you know, use the stake. That's not really difficult. Oh my god. I was like, let's stake him and then heal up, but... Too late. Alright, so we're back at the safe house. I mean, I'm glad that I secured it at least so I didn't have to run all the way back from the beginning. So we got a note. Not worried about that. Let's go ahead. Exit again. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it seems like you don't really get a lot of XP very quickly, so it seems like missions are kind of like, that's what you gotta focus on if you wanna level up. Just like grinding, fighting enemies and stuff like that doesn't seem like it's really gonna do anything. I mean, let's check. Yeah, we're like two thirds of the way there. It's still quite a bit of ways to go. Alright, let's go ahead and keep going the path that we were going, but try not to die this time. Let's do some recon. Alright, I'll go ahead and try to stealth take out some of these enemies before they notice me. Let's go ahead and get in melee range. There we go. Let's go ahead and tag that guy while we're at it. Okay. He's suspicious of me, but this guy's got no clue that I'm closing in on his position. Getting really close. And then, bam. There we go. And then, man, I kind of, like, I don't even want to run over to him. I just kind of want to take him out. And then we can keep moving. Yeah, the game looks really dark. Nope. Oh. Alright. That went pretty quickly. Okay. So we gotta continue hiking through this whatever state we're in. 
do some recon. All right. I mean, yeah, I typically like playing as like stealthy characters, like snipers and stuff like that. But in this game, I feel like the enemies are kind of like so frequent and not so much like not they're not so difficult. That's like, oh, yeah, you should really take them out before you have to fight them one on one. But it's kind of like finding them one on one is just faster. So, I mean, it's nice to know where they are so you don't like lose track of them. But it's not anything that's like it's essential to do. All right. So we gotta do some more crisscrossing, get up this mountain eventually. If only the helicopter could have crashed a little bit closer and at the bottom of this mountain. All right. Oh, let's see. Let's go ahead and sneak up on the sky. And bam. Show me something good. Oh dang it. There we go. Oh, I was kind of hoping you could take out two enemies with one shot. Let's go ahead and just start rushing towards the helicopter. There's the second chopper. All right, let's see what we got. These operators must have had different orders from my unit. Why are they throwing so many bodies at this? It's bigger than I thought. All right, let's go ahead and read this mission briefing because it seems important to the story. Client Elias Kurz, Board Chairman, Avum Therapeutics. Operation Overview. Secure and destroy all hard assets outlined in subsection 4C at mission site. Collect intelligence on the location and status of VIPs and submit to HQ. Neutralize any hostiles or witnesses. Avum VIPs. Peter Addison. Yeah, just a few names. They don't mean anything to me at the moment. Get this intel back to base. All right. Two helicopters carrying Bellwether PMC troops crashed on Redfall due to an attack by someone called the Hollow Man. He recovered supplies and learned Bellwether was sent to destroy evidence and recover VIPs from Avum. So let's go ahead and return to the fire station so we don't have to run all the way back. You've unlocked Jacob's second hero ability. All right. I guess we'll learn more about that later. Press X to turn invisible for a brief period of time. Bellwether issued Jacob a prototype cloaking device just before his deployment to Redfall. While cloaked, Jacob can't be spotted, making it easy to evade or get the drop on enemies. Attacking or bumping into enemies will deactivate the cloak. As Jacob levels up, you can spend skill points to upgrade cloak. Alright. Now that you've captured the munitions from the Bellwether helicopter crash site, restock your ammo and supplies at the fire station or at any neighborhood safe house you capture. Out in the city, find more ammo by searching the environment or looting fallen enemies. Further, you can increase carrying capacity by upgrading some of your hero skills. Alright, let's go ahead and restock. Oh, that costs money? I kind of wish you had told me that. Let's see the armory. Let's see if there's anything new. Okay, this... Sniper isn't as good as the one we currently have. And then let's check back here. Lost and found. Alright, same items. I'm not gonna buy either of them. So let's go down in the basement, talk to them, see what's new. Well, I didn't get dressed for nothing. Okay, there it is. Oh wow. Well. The popcorn machine actually had something to do with it. Dear anyone who might have a moment, fixing this thing might cheer us all up a bit. Goodness, goodness knows we need it. If you're looking for ideas, maybe try the Overton Theater for a pop or repair kit. They're the only other place in town with a popcorn machine, so they're the best place to start. Terrence. 
could make some folks feel a little better. I bet I could fix it. All right, we've been playing for about an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. So to give you my first impressions on this game, I'm going to have to give it a rating of just friends. Like starting off, I was like, OK, you know, I try I intentionally didn't look at reviews or like anything about the game. Want to come in fresh, make my own opinion. After quickly looking at like our gaming, there are just already a lot of posts about like how bad it was, issues with the game. Stuff like that. But despite that, I was like, okay, I want to come in, give it the benefit of the doubt, just like see it for what it is, rather than like most of the complaints seem to be about graphics and stuff like that. But even beyond that, the gameplay still doesn't feel great. Like, you know, like I said, I like that it has the damage numbers, there's like some RPG mechanics to it, but the gunplay itself just doesn't feel great. And the story, like, I think part of it is that when whatever character you're playing as shows up in the cutscenes and stuff like that, and they have dialogue specific to them, so that might be part of the reason for it. But the issue is that it's like motion comic style, or like it doesn't even really feel like motion, it's just kind of like panning around, just like cardboard cutouts that like slide across the screen. So the storytelling presentation isn't amazing. And the story itself isn't something I'm like really invested in. I think partially because it's told in that kind of like limited way. So I'm not playing it for the game, for the story. That's just kind of like filler between missions and stuff like that. And it's not even really something that I'm like really keeping up with. I'm just kind of like, all right, I get it, moving on. And normally, sometimes that's fine. It's like, yeah, the story's not great. It just kind of gets you from point A to point B. It's just kind of like filler. But you know, the gameplay is really good. And this game is like, the gameplay is not great. Like, it's not really excelling in any area that makes it, like, super worthwhile. I feel like the story is, like, a 5 out of 10. And then the gameplay is, like, a 7 or a 6 out of 10. So it's not feeling great. So this is one, you know, I gave it a shot. Gave them a chance. But this is one that I, someone, uh, after this date, I won't be calling them back up again. But... That's just my impressions, you know, if you saw this, this seems like your thing. If you have Game Pass, it doesn't cost anything. And generally, if I'm like, yeah, this game might be for you, I'd say it's worth the download. This game, the download size is like 102 gigabytes, so it's like, ooh, you're kind of asking a lot and not giving much in return. So, you know, that's my opinion on it. That's going to that's gonna wrap up my impressions of it. So, you know, I was pretty excited for it. Uh, this game was a bit anticipated, but kind of disappointed so you know honestly the gameplay felt pretty similar like if you don't want to get the game pass or like download the game the gameplay feels a bit similar to like wolfenstein youngblood and that was a game that was like kind of fun but not great like the story was like more palatable like it made the cutscenes more exciting because it's like so over the top it's like oh, okay cool now we can now we can get back into the game and everything and it's built around that two-player co-op. And this game is built around, like, four-player co-op. But I think it's going to be hard to find friends to convince to consistently play this game with you. Or at all, given the, like, how much negative press it's been receiving. But, you know, if it's something you want to try out, it might be... Well, I want to say, like, it might be worthwhile and, like, kind of give it the benefit of the doubt. But I think there's other games that do this better. So, um, yeah, I just kind of think this is a bit of a missed opportunity... And it's kind of across the board, not excelling in any area, but there's not really any like specific use case that's like, this makes it worth it. Or if you're looking for this type of experience, go for it. But this one, yeah, there's not really anything that's like, this is the reason to go with it. So, you know, they can't all be winners. I'm a bit disappointed that this is the latest release from a studio, from the Arcane Studio, since it had a bit of a good reputation but it just kind of is anything to offer. So, you know, if I'm being too harsh, if you really liked it, I'm please sound off in the comments. I'm not just like, hey, like, give me more interaction on my YouTube account. But if you did like the game and you enjoyed it, you had a good time with it, I would be curious to hear how your experience was with it and just kind of get another perspective on it. But, you know, that's my opinion. Those are my first impressions. It's only been about an hour. But that's kind of where I've fallen. So 
I'll go ahead, stop rambling, and call it there. So thanks for tuning in watching this episode of Game Pass Speed Dating. Hopefully this gives you an idea if this game is for you or not. And either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.